So I think we're all here now, so uh, welcome to Seesaw, how to walk, you big fucking newbie babies. Oh my god. Goo goo gaga, you finally learned how to stand up. Congratulations. So, basically our entire fucking goal tonight is understanding basic movement mechanics and exploits. How do you do some of the cheeky bullshit you see other gamers pulling off? And how you could use that to your advantage. So, right off the bat, I want everyone to line up, uh, over here, where I'm shooting. On foot, Darth. It's an infantry class. Get the fuck out of the mag rider. So some of the basics we want to go over are understanding uh, the environment around us because this is a part of field crypt. Line I up can repair everyone, that Dark. easily. So what we're going to go ahead and do real quick is just kind of uh, get a basic feel for uh, our environment. B point building right here. Does anyone know what this B point is often called? Chevron. Correct. This building behind you where C point is housed, what is this? Powerhouse. All right. A point building. Just looking at the mini map, we should all know that shape. That is a triple stack. Absolutely. And then of course you have Arroyo Torre itself, which is a tower. Tower. So we already got all those fucking basics down. I'm pretty sure all of us know about the fucking yellow line on the inside of most of these buildings if you step inside. Hopefully you all know the yellow line. It's everyone's best friend when you're aiming because if you look at the yellow line, it's about head level with everyone here. The game does the aiming for you, point at the yellow line, and you're guaranteed lots of easier headshots. Replacing battery. Minimal aiming required. The game just takes care of it all for you. Now, under most circumstances, I try to focus on shit like callouts and that. That's not what we're doing tonight. Tonight is all about learning how to exploit the terrain Check environment. The fire. I'm on your side. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do? Please fire at the enemy instead. We're gonna introduce you to the most basic easy. thing you can get, which is the crouch jump. So you crouch and you jump while holding forward. Pretty easy stuff. Now, Let this is definitely one of the harder ones based on my space. We'll make it a bit easier over here. So just crouch jump, get on top of the turret, and then walk your happy ass on top of this server right. So you always kind of want to learn how to get a quick feel for crouch jumping. Uh, this is so you can kind of just, you know, fucking lunge over terrain, getting in and out of firefights, all that fun shit. Uh, sadly, not enough people really utilize that basic fucking concept. I don't know why I can't explain but there's a really important reason why I'm showing you guys this shit. We're gonna head out over here to where I'm at, to some of our favorite obstacles in game, the wall. How many times has this ever happened to you? You fucking walk up somewhere, and there's a wall in your fucking path, and you can't get over it. So you have to fucking take all your goddamn time running around it. Well, what if I were to tell you, you can get up and over the wall? A lot of Planet Side 2 has wonky geometry where I can't, if I get into a certain corner, I can't walk left or right any further, but if I'm looking down, mashing the fuck out of my space while I'm moving into terrain, I can start hopping up you the vertical server. You, you can kind of see how Pyro way. managed pretty easily. I did it earlier. A lot of you guys also know, uh, back away from the wall, a lot of you guys also know I'm really well known for my bullshit park jobs in Sundays. And you oftentimes see me doing shit like this where I'm yelling at you, hey, move. I'm dropping a caltrop. And what do you know? 
Caltrop, easy ramp. Over the wall, no problem. This is the least utilized fucking asset in-game for reasons I can't fucking understand. I never see anyone using Caltrops to traverse walls or act as a fucking bridge. Or ramp, or stairwell. Uh, this is how I get into and out of certain bases. Uh, you almost always see me dropping at least one Caltrop. Uh, when I know I'm going to be dealing with an, uh, a higher wall. Or an oddly shaped base. So all in all, these are just like the basic, okay, well that kind of makes sense. Things that all of you really should have known at this time for how many hours all of us present have. So where does the actual lesson plan kick in? Well, the actual lessons start coming up when we want to start dealing with unusual geometry. So you have all of your normal static flat surfaces because we're so used to dealing with bases, but not a lot of people are really good with general field craft. There's a reason why I came out this way, because we're going to go up this cliff. I need a medic for Mr. Kuhn in the tree. You could just come in down onto this beak. So we're going to go ahead and start heading up this cliff. You'll notice that some of you are having a little bit more difficulty getting up. There's a lot of I'm slipping and sliding one way or the other. Now, I'm sure we can kind of figure out why that is, because friction ain't fucking right. So you're going to have to do a lot of running, strafing, and jump spam to get where you want to go. Sometimes you want to get a running start, start leaping up uh, from a further position. And you can see, each of us kind of has a weird, different tracking pattern on how we're getting up here. But at the end of the day, we're all getting up on foot and not using that javelin that I clearly hear being activated right now. You cheeky dick waffle. I am swapping batteries. I've got ammo for you here. Almost, Saito, come on. I am not built to be a mountaineer. Fuck this game. Come on, look at it. Look at the whole squad's up there. Here, c come here. Look at me. So, we're gonna strafe. Bunny hop. Do a couple of bunny hops. You see how I'm just falling? There you go. There you go. Unfortunately, I'm really bad at this. So I'm going to be down here a minute myself. Unless I do something really cheeky that gets me moving, like, I don't know, say, hitting myself with an EMP grenade. While I have Survivalist. It's going to give me a little bit of a speed boost. Maybe I'll get up? Probably not, because I'm garbage. This is the hardest part of the fucking game for me on foot, by the way. I but as all of you can see, you got up there pretty easy. So now the real fun part is getting down without fucking up. Unfortunately, I have to get up there to fucking show you what I'm talking about. But if you look at where purple's at, uh, purple, if you, uh, do us a flavor. I can, I'm in position to do it. I'm in position to do it. Yes, I do. You remember how I showed you how to uh, go downstairs, uh, or go down the mountain uh, at Tawrich? Do you want me to use the crack, or do you want me to use just right where I want I'm you at? to use the sharpest vertical angle you can get up there. Oh, now I'm finally getting up. God damn. Alright, I would be over here. Okay, now that I'm fucking finally up here. There, right here. <laughs> I 
Just so a lot of these right falls are going to be like extremely dangerous and almost near lethal. But there's a way to do it without eating shit. Unfortunately, I'm not doing it very well. So if you um, actually turn and just reverse, just no walk backward. No, no, do not walk backward. <laughs> So here's the situation, guys. If you're facing uh, the position where you're going to go off a cliff, has to be sheer. And you start time. going over the edge a bit. If you turn around as you're falling and start walking forward into the mountainside, you can actually slowly walk down like you're going down a ladder. And not a lot of people know about this. Uh, unfortunately, most of recursion does, and gobs. Fortunately, most of them are too fucking thick-headed to, to remember to use this. So this kind of gives uh, folks a kind of a neat advantage. But if you come over here, you're going to start walking down. Don't sprint, just walk. This also works on buildings. It does. And as soon as you start going down, you guys are seeing me. I'm going forwards. Nice and control. I'll do a little bit of strafing here to get my momentum. But you can see how nice I kind of just rappel down. And the worst part about this is I took a little bit of shield damage. So it's kind of an awkward skill to get into the habit of using, but on very mountainous maps like Indar and Amorish. I can repair that. And anytime you're getting fucked on Hassan. It's, uh, it can pay off. A lot of this can also be utilized on buildings, uh, and other terrain features, like walls, uh, biolab legs, you can do this. Basically, anywhere there's a sharp, near-vertical angle, uh, you're able to utilize this. You can also use the climb technique on pretty much most of these surfaces if it's, uh, straight vertical. Like, entirely vertical, like a sharp 90 degree. Uh, just by looking down, uh, running forwards, and spamming the fuck out of your jump. I lack the capacity for pity. Here, he fell and died. Point and laugh. Medic here. Let me take a look. I am grateful to you. Alright, so we're gonna go back down here to spawn, or not spawn, but a uh, waypoint. Squad way. And we're gonna make the walk over to A point. We're gonna head to the triple stack now. Or run. My thanks. I don't care which, just get over to triple stack. And we're gonna meet here at this squad way. So most of us here have already uh, been through the process of, okay, how do I get up a triple stack? You come up to one of these cheeky corners, you look down and you start smashing the fuck out of your space bar. And it generally can work uh, directly on some of these uh, kind of flat corners right here. But it takes a lot of, a lot of doing. You'll usually see most heavy assaults coming around to like uh, these little corners right here. Or like in here, and just smashing the fuck out of space to uh, kind of climb up the wall. Some places, uh, some of these triple stacks will do it very easy, some won't do it at all, some will do it very hard. Other good spots to try are right here. I think this one's this a little too tall corner. for it. Yeah, this one feels a little too tall. You can do it if you jump off of the mountain with a little running jump. Yeah, if you have a little extra speed, you can easily do it.
Uh, this is a bad example of a triple stack that you can do with that. But uh, if you if you notice that uh, some of us started jumping midair or on uh, the actual walls. Grenade out! Shoot the fire! The enemy. By the way, a good example. If you have enough speed. A good example of the I one that I was it. talking about is just climb I along this wall right where I'm shooting. If you hit the other side, though, then you won't be. It's one that I use a lot. Please fire at the enemy instead. Fun fact, though, if you run into this bullshit, uh, another reason why you constantly yell at people, you should use more Caltrop. You can use that to try to do a corner jump, or use this as a way to uh, more easily start smashing the fuck out of space to kind of climb. Uh, it is a difficult skill to really get into the swing of. As you can see, I have difficulty doing it, but I know how to replicate it. I'm just bad at execution. Bad this is also yes, then it doesn't work. The more frames, the more likely it is you're able to do this. Because Planet Side 2 is built around a fucking stupid amount of frames. Frames are responsible for everything. Your tick rate for when you recover from an EMP or a flash or a fucking uh, conch grenade. It's dependent upon uh, your fucking ammunition ticks in some cases for uh, automated for automated fucking uh, ammo things or heat weapons. It fucking varies on your reload animation too. Fra frame rate's just a fucking bitch to deal with here on planet side, essentially. But ultimately, like, as long as you understand the concept behind a couple of these basic, like, little jump and climb techniques, you can get on top of most any piece of, uh, terrain or, uh, I'm sorry. or on top of prop, uh, props or map object. So you can use a lot of this to mountain climb, uh, climb trees, for instance, like over here. Yeah, see, purple's fucking on it. Like, getting a fucking, a like, a deep cover infill there uh, is absolutely disgusting, by the way. So these are kind of just like the basic ideas with all the jumping. Uh, we have a few more things in Seesaw that I need us all to be aware of. Uh, specifically dismounting, which is a problem all of us have with our vehicles. So I'm going to be pulling a Sunderer, and I want all of you to pack your asses inside. And we're going to practice some bail. I want a different loadout. In and in. What are you doing? Shoot at the enemy! Okay, that just happened. Anyway, so uh, as you all know, in Seesaw, one of our big uh, f happy LOL, oh my god, fun time hours, uh, we like to pull battle buses and we like to use our mobile infantry. Seesaw mobile infantry ops are pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure all of us here know the call. Dismount, dismount, dismount. You hear me say that, everyone gets out real fast. Get your guns ready and start blasting. You just go, go, go crazy than choppers. Just start shooting everything. And then we always have a mount up, mount up, mount up, in and in, in and in. And just like that, easy response. Well, then you have cir circumstances where you know. 
a as I do, I tend to go over the side of a fucking cliff blindly. And I start screaming at you guys, out, 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 bail, 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 bail. This is usually, you know, kind of obvious. Get the fuck out, I screwed up. So for here, for instance, you'll see me, you I'll be complaining. I'll be making some shit posts and remarks about my garbage driving skills. And then eventually dislodge myself, give you the all clear, in and in, 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 And we're on the move again. I got so excited. I was like, ooh, there's a thing to grab. No. It's a fucking Artix. Indeed. So, uh, anyways. Uh, one of the other things we're gonna go ahead and talk about is the moving or emergency bay. So let's say I'm in a runaway position, I call out for tank mines, as soon as you hear the word tank mines, bail, you need to get the fuck out. So, tank mines, tank mines! Uh, looks like Darth is dead. I'll start repair. I'm an engineer, I'll repair you. Hold up! I've got batteries! Go ahead and uh, hop in. Mount. If you're under the ground, just fucking re redeploy. I can't help you. Leapsky, I swear to God, let me in. So we already know for a fact that there's a fight over at Region Rock, so I'm going to we put ourselves in a position here. We are going to uh, kind of party hardy by supporting Vanu in that direction. There the is, bus, a is a friendly colossus. There are multiple friendly colossi. Ballin, but at what cost? So I'm going to go ahead and pull us over here. I'm going to grab a battle bus. We're going to do a little bit of mobile infantry tonight. The remainder of this alert, and that'll wrap up our course.